good morning my friends welcome back to my channel today is roxy's weekly challenge day making pockets out of the backs of envelopes so i've prepared myself four backs rachel made four in her video and i'm going to challenge myself and see if i can do four as well <laughs> eek um we can only but try if we don't get them done well we tried so I've prepared four backs. One of them is a bit, yeah, a bit sad really. Um, so this one's going to be a challenge. Uh, but let's start with the easy ones. So to prepare your backs, it's just the back of an envelope. Glue down any flappy bits that are not glued down properly. You know how you get these flaps often open at the ends. Just make sure everything's glued down to start with. Right, so first off, folding in just a little the edges, the long edges. And let's get right into this so that I have a chance of making, and I hope decorating, four of these babies. So, one side. I don't know if I'm going to mass make them. Should I? Should I give it a go? Add to my challenge by mass making? If I'm going to achieve four, maybe I should. So these ends where I have glued down um, the flaps are a little bit stiff and they're not straight. But does it matter? Eh, we'll just go with it. Haven't got time to, to worry about whether it's perfectly straight or not. And that one I obviously didn't glue down very well or at all. I must have missed that one. So how are you all today? I hope you're having a fabulous day. I'm I'm wanting to have a busy day. Like I've I want to get four videos done. But this morning I have mucked around something awful and it's quarter past ten and I'm only now doing my first video for the day. So I don't know if four videos is gonna be the go today. And I didn't sleep well. So, yeah, never a good mix. Trying to be busy and being super tired. Now this one is quite thick at that point. Um, I, do I just want to do that little bit? Yeah, let's just do that little bit. It doesn't need to be a lot. So I think that will be quite adequate. Just that little strip there. Yeah, so I'm just... Inside, I'm like, yes, yes, let's get this done. Let's get onto it. Let's achieve and do everything I want to get done. And on the outside, I'm like, oh, I guess I should start that about now. I'll just go do this. Oh, I need to go to the toilet. Oh, I'll make another drink. Oh, I'll just check, check the internet, check what's happening on social media. <laughs> Self-sabotaging anybody? That would sum up my morning. Self-sabotage. Uh, I can only blame myself. You know, some days are like that. All the best intentions in the world can't fix what you just don't do. Right. So, what am I going to do with this one? Because we can't. if we fold in past this mess, we're going to have like <laughs> something that's this wide which would be okay i'm gonna leave that one for last and we'll deal with that one um because i i really want to see what we can do with something that's imperfect like really normally i would just tear that out for collage and maybe that's what i should do but you know you, you know if you watch my channel you'll know i i quite enjoy um challenges i often stack them up together and do multiple challenges in the same thing right so this is going to be our pocket down the bottom here and we need to trim off these side bits down to that fold line so let's go ahead and fold our pockets up so i'm not measuring i'm just like about there will do kind of style is 
perfectly fine. I think this is a bit damaged here and we're going to be covering the, the front bit so we're going to hide all that tattiness. Not that tattiness is a bad thing in the junk journal world. Right, so for now I'm ignoring the other one. Let's do that if we if we get time. How about? Right, now where's my crease? So I probably want to angle it a little bit on the downward side up to that fold line and then trimming along the fold line to cut off that side strip like so. A lot easier to see it on the plain side as opposed to the pattern side. Oh now that's a thought. Do I want actually the white side or the blue side? Hmm. Because um, one side's going to be hidden when you glue it down to the page, unless unless you like. Um, so these flaps fold around to the back. That's what these do. So you've got your little pocket here. Um, I think we're going to need to cover it because this will be hidden unless you have it as a floating pocket or clip it in or something in which case it will be seen and that would actually be fine for writing space as well. This one I think I'll do as a glue down pocket and we'll decorate that part. This one This one, do I want it that way or would I prefer it this way? I don't mind that blue. I think I might leave it that way. So let's just go ahead and trim off these side bits. So maybe we'll do one with the white. Oh, that one's a bit grubby along the top. Actually, I think this one's probably a better one to have the white. So we'll just fold this back the other way. Like so. So yes, we had a bit of a disruptive evening last night. Um... Not that I can say that was why I wasn't sleeping. I was kind of hot and cold at the same time. It was a hot evening, um, hot night, and we had all the windows open and just a sheet on the bed. But then I'd be cold, and so I'd put the sheet on and put the sheet off and, you know, tossing and turning between being hot and cold. But not enough to actually get up and do anything about it, like close the windows. One of those nights... And I was uncomfortable and I was restless and I think possibly possibly it was more to do with what happened yesterday. It was kind of an evening of nervous tension, shall we say. Um, so I need to angle that down at the, that point. Um, so there was a, another fire about... About five minutes on the open road um, north of where I am. And hubby was out and he was about 20 minutes north last night. And I knew he was due to come home and the fire was had jumped across the main road and so the road was closed. And the fire was right directly on either side of the road. Um, so no traffic was allowed through. And I was like... Oh, I better try and get hold of him before he leaves so he can go the alternate route, which is a long way around. And unfortunately, our cell phones don't have reception where he was. Um, so it took several attempts to get through to him. I'd, I First couple, I didn't get through at all. And the next through, I'd get through and then it would cut out or it would be garbled or some point it put me on hold like I don't know what happened there but finally he actually pulled over so he could answer the phone properly and, and 
get a good signal and he was almost just coming down into the valley where the fire was but he hadn't reached the main road so he, he didn't know exactly what was going on so I told him that the road was closed and he'd have to go via an alternate route which is called Pyramid Valley um, just wondering about this top there's a little bit sticking it no it's going to be covered it'll be fine um, okay so that's that one I'm doing a lot of talking and not much making am I Never mind. Um, so he had to turn around. So he was lit. By the time I got hold of him, he was literally like six minutes away from home. So he had to turn around and go all the way back to where he'd come from. So that full distance plus some to get onto the road that would take him the back way round. Um, so he. When I got hold of him, he was on target to be home at like quarter past eight last night. And he didn't get home until 10 to 10 because of this extra distance he had to go. Fortunately, there was that alternate route, but they weren't publicising it because it's not a road that people who aren't familiar with it should go in the, the gathering dark. It's gravel it was it's windy and if you don't know where you're going then you can easily end up somewhere you don't want to be um because it's very very remote area so and he he was up there with other people our neighbors were up there as well um and they knew about the road but hadn't traveled it for like 30 years so they weren't entirely sure where to go and some other people from Christchurch, from the city, which is in basically 45 minutes south of us, um, they needed to get home. So he went, called back in where he'd been and let them know the road was closed. And then they followed him uh, to get them back through to our town where they could. Our neighbours, of course, went home, uh, straight home. And the people from Christchurch could then continue on back to their home in the city. So lots do I want to cover this first? No, let's just glue it down. Um, yeah, just that sort of disrupted sort of feeling and like what's happening, what's going on. The fire is not out yet. It is contained. It's about five hectares worth. Um, it's contained, but it's not out and they're still having flare ups and, and stuff. So there were 15 fire crews and two helicopters. Um battling it and this morning they're sending in heavy equipment to try and bury because it's as well as running alongside the main road it also is all through the riverbed so they're going to be bulldozing up some stuff and trying to bury the smouldering parts so there's been national news crews out and you know the whole works and traffic um, so it's probably I don't know 12-15k between um, where I am and where the fire is and the traffic was backed up all the way from the fire to our town so 12-15 k's worth of traffic backed up because nothing was allowed through and as I said they weren't publicising the alternate route because it's not safe for those who aren't familiar with it and there's no detour signs so they had nothing to follow and um, cell phone coverage is sketchy through there so they couldn't like rely on google maps or anything so not a safe way to go if you're not familiar so yeah so that's kind of the drama and it, i think it just kind of put me in that unsettled <coughs> excuse me unsettled mood fortunately not that i've heard there were no houses or anything damaged or um, there's also vineyards around that area and wineries uh, haven't heard of any property damage there were some homes evacuated but I don't think any have been damaged which is good but yes uh, unsettled and then for the last hour before hubby got home our wi-fi decided it was going to play up on the tv everything else worked it worked on my phone and everywhere but it wouldn't work on the tv so I had no tv for the last hour before he got home Nothing to do but kind of fret and think and over process as my head does. Right, so we've got three. Let's do the three. 
So I'm going to first just put some paper down. Um, let's find some paper first. Sorry, just digging in my bag of scraps here. Nothing terribly... This is a bit of painty paper. We could use that. Nothing terribly exciting to see until I pull bits out. I'm kind of feeling like I want some map. Let's dig in my map bag. This is my... I've got more maps, but these are the ones I've got beside me. Let's see what this one... I don't know, I just feel like map. Maybe it's because I've, I've organised my bin and now I can find my maps in my bin. This is an old map. It's... I don't know if it, it's coming apart. I don't know if it's got uh, dates on it, but look how grubby it is. It's been well loved. Yep, it's definitely coming apart. Has it got a date? I don't think they date maps typically, do they? I'm just looking for a date. 1964. So this map is from 1964. How cool is that? Not old enough to scan. But we can still use it. And collage. A lady I know who dad was moving and needed to downsize and so she gave me a big um, bag full of these old maps. Some of them aren't, aren't all old but there is a number that are old. So that was super cool. She asked me if I wanted them and I was like, oh yes. And I'm, I'm hoarding them a little bit. I haven't used many because I just like, they're so cool. They are just cool. And they're not all New Zealand maps either. There are some other different ones from here and there. Obviously from his travels or something. Lovely. Just look how cool that is. Now, I did want to cover the backs here. I should have done that before I glued the pockets down. But, oh well, you know. <laughs> Never mind. Crack on. <laughs> We'll just keep going. Too much talking, I tell you. Just too much talking. So hopefully they get the fire out soon because there's been a lot of fires in our region in Canterbury, which is a huge area. Canterbury is really big. Um, I'm in the part North Canterbury, which is also very big, but Canterbury as a whole is huge. Um... Yeah, there's been lots of fires, so over the weekend there was a big one uh, south-west of us, but quite a, quite a wee way away, probably about an hour away. Um, but just keeping the fire brigades really busy, and so they must be getting super tired and working in the huge heat. Because Saturday was cold, we had the fire going. Sunday wasn't too bad, it warmed up. Monday... We hit 38 degrees, which is unheard of in our wee town. It was just so hot. And then yesterday, which was Tuesday, yesterday we got to about 32 and a bit. So markedly cooler than the day before, but still really toasty. <laughs> so just combined with the, the hot, dry, strong winds, fire damage, fire risk is huge. Of course, those of you in Australia uh, are used to things like that. If you can ever be used to fires, like the, the devastating things, even if they don't damage property, they they are just not fun. They're very scary and worrisome. And of course, the the damage um, to like stock feed and stuff you know if it takes out a paddock okay it hasn't damaged property per se like buildings but that's food for the stock that the farmer then has to try and buy in from somewhere because they've no longer got the the grass or the hay in the paddock 
so there is a huge impact I'm just going to lay bits a bit of paper on these I'm not going to collage them I'm just going to go with a single piece of paper for this section quick easy and a nice background for whatever focal point we want to put on I think that's the way I'm going to achieve getting four done is if I keep things relatively simple it's a little crunchy bit along that side but I think it'll be okay right this one map or more of this now I want something different let's go something different um maybe something not blue because i've kind of got a lot of blue going on i seem to be going with a lot of blues lately not that it's a bad thing i'm not not unhappy with blue i'm just feeling like i want something you know i don't want everything blue and all i'm finding in my bag is blue 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 how about this bit of wrapping paper so it's not blue it's purple and hints of pink more pinkish it's of lavender it's obviously been used so i'm just looking for a section that's not too bad now there goes a helicopter so the, the helicopters stopped last night overnight and I assume they're back into it this morning to help with any hot spots. And that's one going overhead now. They said they called them off about um, 9 o'clock but I was still hearing helicopters closer to 10. So I'm thinking they actually went longer than what they said they were and then about midnight I was still awake I heard a helicopter then as well so I mean it could have, could have been any helicopter but usually we only hear helicopters if it's an emergency services one so either um, a rescue helicopter that's picking up people that are stranded or somebody who needs to be flown to hospital or fire ones that are fighting fires so unusual to hear a helicopter at that time of night if it wasn't one of those two things so I'm betting that it was for the fire and that it was still going at that time of the night and I was sitting up in bed at that stage it was like oh, I'm not sleeping I'm uncomfortable I need to just sit up for a bit so I did right there we go we have three and now I've got to rectify so this one I'm going to leave I think because that's writing space I should have also inked before I glued everything to together my brain honestly my brain's checked out today not bode, boding well for um, getting four videos done is it if I get two done I'll be I'll be happy um, but I'd be so much happier if I got four done because that would give me two days in the office and that would be amazing two days at the computer I did spend most of yesterday at the computer I didn't record a video yesterday and in hindsight maybe I should have it would have just taken taken a little of the pressure off but then I wouldn't have had all day in the office either and I really need that so and I'm just going to kind of give it a little grunge just to take away some of the white and maybe get this edge as well. A um, bit of paper. A bit of paper. In, oh, look, that almost fits perfectly. Well, it does fit perfectly. Just get this edge since I didn't do it before I glued it down. Now you can put a thumb notch in here if you like. I'm not going to. Just gonna leave it as is here we go that's that one right before I ink the others I'm going to think about what I want to do in the background here whoops I'm gonna put a bit of this in the back there it's kind of like the map in the sea let's go with that
I mean, you could leave it the inside of the envelope, but I want to make it look a bit prettier. So just scraps of painty paper, and then I don't need all of that. And that would be a pain to try and get the whole thing down inside the pocket. So let's just put a little bit inside the pocket. And we've got a fun scrap. This fun bit of junk journaling is a little bit of glue and any curly whirly bits are going to be taken care of. They're going to stick down and not be curly whirly anymore. Unless you want them to be. So yeah, that's my big story um, from yesterday. And at one stage I went for a walk down to our corner to look out towards the main road to see if I could see the backed up traffic. And I couldn't. Um, but Snuggles, one of our cats, followed me, which is quite normal for her. She likes to follow us when we go bike riding or walking. And she was halfway down the street when a car came down our street, so she stopped and she wouldn't come any further. Um, so I continued on to the corner, looked out. I was there for maybe a minute, not very long. And I turned around to come back and the car was actually neighbours from two doors down and they were busy um, patting her on the footpath. So I thought that was rather cute. She's, she's bomb-proof, that girl. She literally is bomb-proof. She stands her ground if a dog comes at her. That um, She will follow us quite a long way, unless something like a truck or something comes, and then she'll just sit and wait. Um, she cuts through properties to kind of try and catch up. If we've gone around a corner, she'll cut across through the back of properties. She um, doesn't care about the vacuum cleaner. All the other cats hate it, but she doesn't care. She's just bomb-proof. The only thing she does react to is the doorbell, which is weird. She didn't used to, and I believe she only does now because of the other cats. So if they run, she's like, oh, what's going on? I must run. But usually she's back pretty quickly and it's like, mm, what was that about? You know, even if there's visitors here, it's like, oh, hello. I'm just going to bed now. <laughs> she's so funny. Okay, that's... So what have we got here? We've got the one that we grunged. We've got that one. What do we want here? Need something different, don't we? Something to go with that bit of wrapping paper here. Mm. What about that? It's a scrap of digital. Yes, I hope my stories haven't been boring. But it's just, you know, life. What's happening in life right now. Full of drama. There's always drama somewhere, isn't there? And I didn't rule, didn't hear that straight, but it will be fine. I'm just going to go with it. And it doesn't matter, I can straighten it up because I've got the bottom sitting in the pocket. So I can line it up to the top and the bottom is hidden. So, awesome. There's always a way around things. If you can't do it that way, then a strip of washi tape 
is a good option to cover any glaring misalignments. So yeah, today is supposed to be kind of mid to high 20s today, the temperature. So that's, um, that sounds like it's going to be quite refreshing compared to what it's been the last couple of days. Um, but then there is supposed to be like days coming up that are in the 30s again. So later this week, I think maybe, or the weekend, I'm not sure. That is not, that sort of flares out at the top. Maybe an optical illusion, but. Right, so there we go. We have decorated up, or not decorated, covered up three. Um, don't want to do snippy corners. Rachel snipped her corners like so. She also did the bottom. So I don't think I want to do the bottom. I'm just going to do the top. I was debating about whether I um, round them, but I think I'm just going to snip them. I don't have to worry about getting my corner rounder out. Just add a bit more ink. Rachel doesn't ink either, so of course that's an extra step I'm doing. Right, this one needs to be inked around. And then they need focal points. So, we're not doing too bad, I feel, despite all my chit-chat. And then again in this part. There we go. So we've got those three done. Do we want to finish those up or do we want to tackle that fourth one? I think we finish these up and then just save that fourth thing. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a bit like, oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. We've got time though. Just checking the time there. Sip of my coffee and let's decorate these ones up. Words, labels, focal image, those are my usual vibes as you're probably aware. Um, so labels. Tiny labels, I don't know if I'll need those but Stamped words. I have my printed out words. I'm thinking maybe a bird. Let's see what we can find to start with in the birds. I try not to stack things up in front of my desk because of the light, but. Um, These are all cut out of um, bird books. And then water. No. Nothing so far has gone. Love that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just not too tall. Just not hitting the right button for me. No, too tall again. Too tall. I'm pulling out all the ones that are appealing to me today are too tall. Oh, that's quite sweet. I like that one. Okay. Mm, a bit blendy, I think. Too tall. Oh, I like that one. That's nice. Um, do we want a bird on the other one as well? It's 
nothing wrong with going all with birds is there hopefully you can see does he stand out enough might like that first one better no that one like that one just feel like it stands out better okay let me just put these away or to the side okay so we've got birds let's look at labels um, thinking about label up the top actually um, whose labels do I want oh some of them are trying to escape out of my holder I think I want something across. These are from Artsology. Like that one there. No, I don't want the same shape. Um, okay, got one. Still working with Artsology labels. How do we feel about that one? That one maybe. I'm just wondering whether I need something bigger. Oh, I like that one. That's the winner there. And maybe that one there. So these two are from the Junk Journal Studio. And they are labels from Days Gone By. The first one, the first set. Okay. Do I want any... I, do I want any book page... music Get down a bit of Spanish book page there another sip of my coffee oh sorry clatter clatter um No, it feels like it takes away. That's very unusual, isn't it? To feel like the book page is not... You know what? I I just like the simplicity of that. I'm going to go with it. Rather than sit here for and fiddle for um, too long. I do want to take out that little gap there. Um, might be better with my knife less to start it with then I can get my scissors in so be careful with this red claws down here I don't tear those off Right, that's that one. 
I just like the peep through of the background. Same on this one. And that other one's been all done, so he's fine. And I don't cut these out beforehand typically because they are good catches. They catch on other little fine bits and then you get caught up and before you know it you've ripped them all. Then you try and grab one out of your container. So I leave them to do when I need them. Which means a little bit of cutting out on camera. Get into that corner. There we go. Done. Not too bad, is it? Doesn't take too long. And the majority's done. Just wondering whether that one does need something, but obviously not the book page. It wasn't making me happy, but maybe. Maybe like a number or I don't think music would work because that's very similar to book page in my view. Um, we could try it. This one doesn't really need much ink but I'm just going to quickly give it a little go round. glue stuck on my fingers um, oh we could use a word underneath it would be something a little different what if we did a word these are from the junk journal studio or a definition delightful uh, these are out of Spring Bounty. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. What about the others? The colour of happiness must be spring green. Do you think that fits with a green bird? Oh yes. Now my heart's going yes. And what about this fella over here? Flower, because there's lots of flowers on this one. Mm, no, it doesn't fit. There are the same ones in multiple sizes though, so... What about this one? No bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, cool. Right, more inking I'm afraid. Well, I'm not really afraid, but don't know why I even said that. <laughs> Tell you, it's my brain. It's not firing on all cylinders today. And you'll turn around and tell me, Belinda, when is your brain ever firing on all cylinders? And I'd say you might have a point <laughs> it is what it is just gotta take the highs and the lows of every day and just do the best one can now i'm looking at this one and going is it too small but it is writing space so i'm going to go with it that's why we did left the white or did it the white side out so it was writing space so Let's just go with it. And my nose is dripping now. Oh, another fun video. Okay, let's get some things down. Do I want to go glue stick? Let's try glue stick. 
at the risk of getting all sorts of sticky. We're doing well to get these three finished um, and then we'll see what we've got time for for that fourth one, that challenging one. I'm like, why did I even like set myself up for that? Seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, I didn't um, ink around these ones, did I? these I'm going to use tacky glue because I'm either going to gouge my glue or rip off an appendage from the birdie so let's just go with my tacky glue not going to harm any birdies in the making of this ephemera Cool, that one is done. One down. Pop them up there out of the way. Okay. Change my page here. I love having lots of gorgeous labels to use because you can usually find the exact right thing to fit what you're trying to achieve so much fun if you're not into labels why not they are so cool they're fun to make they're fun to use in so many different styles and colors and shapes and fun text and graphics so good And it doesn't have to mean anything either. I'm not sure exactly where I had that, so that's where it's going to go now. It's got um, lichen hanging off the branch that the bird's on, which is kind of fun. It's quite funny because I had anticipated that I'd um, use like mushrooms or something on these, but that's not the direction we ended up going in. Yeah, don't drop your glue side down, dear. Love that. Two done. Look at us go. This one needs inking too. Yeah, so the road is open, but it's only one lane um, through the area that the fire was or is um, and heavily controlled to people to come through because um, they'll be very watchful of any hot spots that flare up right next to the road although the, it's not so windy today which is a good thing that will help them just put the lid on my glue stick and then it looks like we're on to number four. And I feel very nervous all of a sudden. How am I going to make something good out of it? As I said, those 
types of ones that are ripped up. I normally just tear them up for collage because I do like the blue patterns. They're all very simple, but very, very cute. Right. Clear the decks. Oops. Oh dear. I'm going to have to pay, pick up 10,000 words off the floor because my container just upended on the floor. <laughs> That's not going to help me record four videos, is it? Nope, nope, nope. Never mind. Let's focus on this. So we've got this big tear here. We've got all this rattiness here, so we haven't got our full width of our envelope. I have folded this down already. So I'm thinking I'm just going to tear that bit off. It's almost all the way off anyway. I am going to glue this little flappy bit down. And what I'm thinking is because it's like in such poor condition, is just go with the grunginess of it and maybe make a grungy one. Now, I might be inspired by the fact that I just watched Gail's video this morning while I was having, or after breakfast actually, um, where she was working on her grungy journal. It's like, well, I've got something that's, that's grungy. Do we want to just go with that? And I think, yes. So I'm going to fold it there. There's also this bit, and I think we need to get rid of that because it's only going to be a problem if we don't. I'm going to cut off this top side bit, and we're just going to have it joined on one side. So this is actually going to be a tuck rather than a pocket. Around there and I don't like this bit here so I'm gonna tear that as well just a little bit like so and do I want to do anything at the top here I'm thinking maybe we could turn it into like a tuck here and then a pocket in behind is my thinking. So we'll still have a pocket. So yes, I'm going to glue that down. Come on glue. Don't fail me now. So before I glue that down, I'm going to ink it. And I think I want to ink it fairly darkly. So do I want to grab out? My ground espresso. And I haven't got a brush for it yet, so let's just take the... Ink pad, finish my sentence, and brush it. Oh, isn't that yummy and dark? Oh, yum. Yes, it's ground espresso, but can't eat it. I can drink my coffee, though, which is not espresso. I don't actually like espresso. I think it's disgusting, foul stuff. Sorry to those of you who do, but my experiences with espresso is just like, oh, why do people do it? We bought a refill once of espresso of our favourite brand, which we can no longer get now. We can't get the brand anymore, but they had an espresso version, so we just picked that up once because that was the only refill they did. They either had the jars or refills on the espresso only, so we bought the espresso refill. We ended up throwing it out because it was just awful. It was gross. 
and any other espresso I've had has just been bleh. not my style of coffee shall we just say that <laughs> right so glue this up now so of course we have a rough a rough edge here so in terms of um, like collaging that that is not going to be super easy but I am going to take my vintage photo just to add a bit more colour there around the edges oh I need to also do around the outside don't I right if we're going grungy let's let's go grungy Yeah. Maybe I espresso, ground espresso bag and give it that nice dark. And I'm trying to rub it a little bit over the edge, like on the face of things as well. Bring in some of that. See what I'm doing there? Oh yeah, yeah, that's making me all sorts of happy. It's fun. Like Gail was saying in her video, it's fun and it's play. And I'd have to agree, it is fun just to take something and just make it distressed and grungy and awesome. Fun. Right, what sort of image is going to go with that grunge? If we go with an image, we don't necessarily have to go with an image. Um, where's this book page? I think they're a bit small since I tore them all up. So I'm going to grab out something, something else. No, it was a love poem. It kind of doesn't feel feel grungy to me. Um, a bit of an encyclopedia page with map on. I'm just randomly tearing. I want to do the espresso around the edge of this as well. Really need to order myself for more brushes. I've got stuff sitting in my cart to to do. I just <sighs> I just often don't like spending money to be honest it's like especially if I'm well not especially if I've got a reasonable amount to spend I hate spending it if I've got a little only a little I hate spending it it's just like I spend so long thinking do I really want that no I'm going to take that out it's been there for a few months and no, I've changed my mind I don't really want it and then I put something else in and then just leave it sitting there in my cart for a while and yeah, <laughs> I'm funny when it comes to shopping. Lofor, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. Don't know. Don't know where this map's for. Oxwich Bay, it's definitely not New Zealand, I can tell you that much. Swearing is <laughs> funny. Let's just put some random bits of map mismatched. I don't know why. Just 
because I'm playing. So this is my little variation of Rachel's um, project. So that's cool because I hadn't pre-organized a variation um, in so much as I just came across this bit of envelope and I was like, well, I'm sure we can do something with it. Right, okay, that's good. I think I'm going to leave that blue, um, but I might just give it a bit more of some dirt. along this edge here that pokes out and it's got a white strip from the envelope there we go and a little bit of the like so oh yeah that's looking much grungier now isn't it that blue was just a little bit too bright and clean looking. Not anymore. Okay. Some sort of label, I think. Um, I'm like, where have my labels gone? They're all on the floor. But the ones in this folder should be fine. Sorry about that loud Velcro noise. I often forget that it's quite noisy when I open it. So I'm heading back to the Junk Journal Studio labels because I think that's where I'm going to find something that's just like perfect. I think it's a little bit small. Um, these are from, again, from set one. Um, labels of from days gone by because she's got set two out now uh, volume two it's called oh, there's a oops down the right way there's a where does that go I don't think it really matters hot springs I like that one. Let's go with it. Oh gosh, every time I look at the mess on my floor. Oh dearie me, and I can't move until I pick it up because I can't get past it. <laughs> it's all between me and the armchair. And that's the walking space is just between me and the armchair. So... I've just got to sit here, lean down, and pick it all up. Anyone want to come join me for a game of pick up 10,000 words? <laughs> Happening very shortly in Amberley. Do I want to add a bit of text? Let's tear this down even smaller. No, no, let's just do the label. I'm creating all sorts of scraps here. Don't worry, they will get used. I'll just pop them in my um, telephone collage book where I put scraps. So I'll do that as soon as I've finished this video and that will be taken care of. There we go. We have made four. Oh gosh, and I'm over time. I do apologize. I just got caught up, didn't I? Okay, let's do a quick review. So we have our grungy little tuck spot and pocket, or we could go pocket this way as well, which might be better. I don't know. Options. So that's our grungy one, the variation. Then we've got these three, which are basically similar to what Rachel did. So that one, this one, and this one. 
so thanks for joining me guys i'm sorry it went a little bit long i hope you hung in there and are inspired to give this a go super fun use those envelope backs and make yourself some cool little pockets take care guys and i'll be back with another video tomorrow until then bye